Hi yo folks, this is Max from uh, 1xroot.com um, So today we're going to go root um, both of our AT&T and the international uh, HTC 1X on Windows, Mac and Linux um, This is very simple to do, it works on all HTC 1X, AT&T, any, any HTC 1X It's a universal guy, also one click method pretty much for all of them um, So Basically, first what you want to do is um, go to settings, go to settings, and actually let's do both at the same time, save some time. Um, go to settings, and go to uh, developer options, right there, and make sure USB debugging is checked on like that. You see it right there? Out there, yeah. So once that's connected, um, I'm gonna just do one of these. I'll do the AT&T one first. And also, this doesn't delete uh, data. Um, like this is not unlocking the bootloader. You don't have to unlock the bootloader unless um, you want to actually install ROMs, and that's only for the international version. Um, so connect it and set it as charge only. And first, I'll show you on Windows. So let's go to our Windows computer. Next, go ahead and download a uh, 1x root one click dot zip. All right, that one there. Uh, if you unzip it, um, unzip it, extract the files, you'll get the folder called 1x root one click. All right, and uh, we'll go in there real quick here, and you'll find all these files. Um, this is the same for Mac, Linux, or uh, Windows. And uh, for Windows, you'll need to have the drivers installed. So let's go install the drivers together. So I'll have links to um, the 32-bit drivers or 64-bit. I'm using Windows 7 64-bit, so I, bought, I downloaded the 64-bit. Um, download it, um, extract all the files. So I'm going to extract it. Um, all right. And you get a, a folder in here with the drivers in here, driver files under here. Um, so here, what you want to do is um, go to Control Panel here. Start and uh, Control Panel and go to um, hardware and sound device manager if you don't know how to get into device manager just please google it and you should get if you don't if you've never rooted anything before um, you won't get any kind of you'll get this exclamation mark with android phone which means your drivers are not installed but if you do get some kind of adb um, it doesn't even have to be acc even if it says samsung adb that's fine you can skip the driver step but if you don't get anything you get exclamation mark Anything with exclamation mark Android, um, just do update driver, browse my computer, and then uh, do a let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer, and then do show all devices, click next, and select have disk, and browse to the directory you just unzip those files to, which for me is under uh, my username max downloads uh, HTC driver 64. And inside there's another folder, another folder, another folder, and click on um, the file androidusb.inf, hit OK, hit OK, and you'll see my HCC, uh, and click next, and uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, if it'll say, this is actually ADB driver, but if it says my HCC or some kind of ADB and you don't get any exclamation mark here under other devices, you're all good to go. Um, so go back to um, go back to downloads and uh, where you unzipped 1x root one click and simply run uh, runme.bat and this will root your phone and I'll show you while this is going on ah god yeah, there you go and uh, it will ask you to hit enter to continue and this, it'll start rooting um, let me explain what's actually happening there's an exploit um, that Dan Rosenberg found in ICS. Basically, you, um, there's two line of codes uh, in new reboot and reboot, and you'll be able to actually have super user, um, temporary super user, and then you just push the super user files and uh, um, busy box, and uh, that's it, and it roots your phone. And this not again, this does not touch anything um, in your phone. It just roots your phone. That's a good thing, but it does not install recovery or unlock your bootloader. But this is a great method. You can root it using this method. 
and then um, install Titanium Backup App, SMS Text Backup App, and back up all your apps, um, SMS text messages, since unlocking your bootloader through HCC Dev later after this will erase all your data. Um, so after this, you can back it up and go to hccdev.com and unlock your bootloader, um, install recovery, and then um, you can, you know, you can, um, I think it will erase root too. You can root it again and then um, basically restore everything. Um, that method is on my site also. That's the first method I posted. Basically, you can do this to back up your stuff and then follow the first method. And that's it. You know, Then you can keep all your data without losing it. And uh, you get a um, bunch of stuff like this. Uh, if you don't get any errors, then you're all good to go if you get a bunch of... Um, don't, don't worry about the remove fail for, fail for XFNSU. That's the only thing you don't have to worry about. But let me give you a close shot of what it looks like. Um, that's what it should look like, and you should be all good to go. If you get stuck up here for some reason, um, that means you don't have the drivers installed. But if you if you um, if you did all the checks that I, I showed you in the video, um, it should work just fine. So now it's rebooting. This is a TNT version, but this works on the regular version. Um, I've tested on all Windows, Mac, and Linux. And I'll show you with Linux next, and also Mac, um, just this part, you know, just because um, with Mac you have to do a little bit of terminal, terminal commands, and also Mac also. So this is done, and uh, you'll see that in the beginning of video I didn't have Super SU um, on my phone, but now I probably do. And they were almost done here. So one click method, very simple. It roots your phone. If you're just gonna use Android Wi-Fi Tether to get free tethering, um, that's good. And I'll also have a video on that. Also you can check my site, onexroot.com. So I have Super SU, um, that's the super user app. Um, run it once after you root, all right? And hit continue, the SU binary needs to be continue. Make sure you do this, sometimes um, you have to do this to get full root, and that will fix everything. And you can test out um, your root by running a Wi-Fi tether app, which is a um, root app, any root app. And start tethering, and you should get this uh, thing and super user request grant. So you're fully rooted. Now go install. If you're gonna, if you, if you're on the regular, if you're on one of these, um, you'll want to go uh, back up all your titanium. Um, sorry, back up all your titanium apps and uh, through titanium backup app because uh, unlocking your bootloader erase everything. Um, not for the AT&T version though, um, the One XL, you don't have to, um, you just have to install one of the uh, recoveries and uh, it's, you don't have to actually unlock your bootloader, which is actually pretty cool. Um, so I think that's it. So let's go do it for uh, Mac and Linux. All right. So for Linux, um, basically the same thing, download 1x root one click uh, and unzip it. You'll get a folder called 1x root one click, probably in your downloads folder. Um, so and then open up a terminal and uh, open up a terminal. And what you're going to type is um, basically go into that directory. To do that, go cd space um, downloads like that. Um, that my username on this one is ma and do cd space 1x root click like that you can always type like the first three letters and hit the tab and it will fill in for you if it doesn't fill in then you're in the wrong directory do that and the first thing you want to do is type uh, change the permissions so they can all run do chmod space 755 space star alright and then, this is very important, um, you want to start the ADV server in su uh, super user mode. How to do that is type sudo dot slash, um, dot slash ADV dash Linux and space and devices um, and enter your password. Alright, um, so I got it there. If you don't get that for some reason, um, then you can do this. Maybe AD you're already running ADB um, in the background. Do uh, the same thing except for, um, change devices to kill dash server. This will kill the server if it's running not as a super user. And simply um, 
do the devices again. And you should get this thing, um, devices. If it, it says no permissions, that means you're not running the ADV server as um, super user. So now just run the program again, uh, sh um, dot slash. Um, no, no, sorry, sh run me uh, linux.sh, and that's it. And this will do the one click root method for um, your Linux. So I just want to show you that all in one video Mac, Linux, and Windows. All the scripts are there, um, so hopefully you'll enjoy it. And you'll see, um, you'll reboot three times and your phone is rooted. Very simple. And uh, this actually works on um, all kinds of ICS devices. Um, a lot of them will work. This is actually a uh, root method based off a Transformer ICS. Um, I think Dan Rosenberg found the exploit. So thank him. So there you go, number two, number two, number three. And same thing in Mac, I'll show you in a second. Um, some things, maybe you don't have to do all that super user thing um, like Linux here. Uh, boot number two, and after boot number three, it should be all done. Um, it's actually a couple lines of code. You can actually look at the sources and uh, study how this exploit works. Basically, it's a loophole in ICS, and uh, you know some of you figured it out. And we just need a little script here, and they'll do it. And don't worry about that. Not found that. It's just my coding error. It won't do any harm. I'm just too lazy to fix it. Um, so that should be rooted. Um, if you get all that um, and rebooting, if you don't get errors up to all done rooting ACC one X, you're all good to go. And let's go to the Mac version now. Um, so for Mac, uh, if you download one x one one click um, dot zip, you'll get uh, this folder. Um, it'll probably automatically unzip. You should have a folder called one x root one click. All right. Then open up a terminal, which should be under um, utilities and terminal. Right. And uh, next, what we're going to type is uh, we're going to go to cd downloads where your uh, download folder is. And uh, let me zoom in so you can actually see. Um, same thing. It's actually the same as uh, Linux and uh, CD. And then one x root uh, one click like that. All right. And then uh, you're gonna do. You're gonna make sure the permissions are correct. So let's do chmod um, seven five five um, and uh, star like that. And uh, before you begin, you want to make sure uh, ADV is running correctly. Um, eh. So you can type uh, dot slash ADV dash Mac space devices. All right, and that will start the ADV, um, and you should get some kind of device there. And then you're ready to go, and just type sh run me Mac dot sh, and hit enter. And uh, same thing as Linux, um, slight well, slightly easier than Linux since you don't have to run ADB as um, super user, which is super user for Mac. I mean, not uh, for for the uh, phone. Um, so same thing. It's going to reboot three times, and you should have a root on the Mac. Um, so it works for all Mac, Linux, and Windows. Uh, you don't need drivers again installed for Mac or Linux and uh, this way I, I can cover all Mac Linux and Windows in just uh, one solid video and this should work um, on you know this should work so long as ICS they don't block it but I don't think they're gonna actually block this um, it's not a security flaw it just allows you to root um, so you can see, ignore the last part again. <laughs> I love that code in there. Um, but as long as you get all this stuff, um, you should be all good to go. Remove fail for SU, don't worry about that. That just kind of removes anything before, um, if you rooted before. So um, you should be all rooted. Um, anyway, that's how you do it on a Mac. Anyway, thanks you guys um, for watching my video. Um, again, this gives you root for both AT&T or um, your other, uh, the, the international version. Um, for this one, I'll have another instruction set on how to install recovery. 
And for this one, you'll have to go, if you want to install custom ROMs, you have to go unlock the bootloader, which is my method one. You'll have to follow that again. Um, but you can use this method again to um, back up your apps, back up your SMS messages. Um, before you do that, uh, or if you don't care, you can go straight to method one for the unlocked uh, international European Asian version. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching my, my video. Um, if you rooted your phone and you like this video, don't forget to hit this, uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, 1xroot.com. I have ROM reviews, hacks, and more. Um, and uh, I give you uh, yeah, an email update once or twice a week with uh, ROM reviews, hacks, and stuff. And I don't share your email with anyone else, um, just for you and me, for communicating. It's a great way for you to communicate with me. And also, if you're on YouTube, uh, please hit that like button for me. It helps me greatly. Um, subscribe button up here if you have. Thanks a lot. And share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+, Plus, right there, too. And actually, that's my other one that's running the script, running in the background. Um, it just rooted it, so now we have root for both phones. Um, super SU there, and it's still loading. Loading, yeah. And also, this uh, root method is very safe to do. It only roots your phone. You can actually go try it on any HTC device with ICS, or even uh, it works on Transformer Prime um, and a bunch of other devices. So um, go ahead and feel free to um, try it on any devices. It gives you super user, as you can see there. Um, anyway, thanks again, guys. Stay high on Android, folks, and don't be on iHorror. I hope you enjoy my videos. Yeah.